20, 30 interviews a day. Television, newspaper, sometimes seems like more than that. Based on Atalanta reporters, and I, I haven't been anywhere in the last few weeks, but here's what I get. Why are you still in this race? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me try to explain it to you, because I think you guys might understand it. First of all, in this race, because nobody has won it yet. <laughs> Somebody needs to be president, not who's been in Washington helping create the problem, but somebody who goes and understands their actual the, the reason that we go looking for six coal miners in a coal mine in Huntington, Utah, when it collapses, and the reason that we go looking for a 12-year-old Boy Scout in the woods of North Carolina when he gets lost, the reason, because our attitude is we leave no man behind. You know? The toughest competition that you face today as a small business owner, or for that matter, a large business owner, is not the guy across town or across the country or across the world. It's your own government, whose policies of taxation regulate code, all 67,000 pages of it, is so complicated that nobody understands it, including the IRS. <laughs> and there's a reason why that the average American is more important, is that every day in this country, their mothers and fathers who work really, really hard to put food on their kids' table, to put clothes on their back, to drop them off at school and say a little prayer, please God, let them learn something, and don't let anybody go. They have dirt floors, outdoor toilets, and no electricity. My dad never graduated high school, and no male upstream from me had ever graduated high school, much less gone to college. 